How lucky the people who live in Svalbard are, up there in the mountains, away from the rest of civilization, cut off, isolated, left alone by this crazy modern world. It sounds a lot like being at a radio station, actually. <laughs> You've got to laugh.
Ahoy hoy, my comrades in arts. Sir Nigel Bickleworth here, once more, filling your radio with charm and a discerning ear for truly exquisite music. And we begin with this immortal classic.
The Two Point Symphony Orchestra did a passable rendition of Slabilius' second harmonica concerto, but the oboe player was simply atrocious. Deserves to be turned into an amused bush, if you ask me. Much like musicians of this next piece. Join Wiki Silverbottom at the 179th Annual Silverbottom Invitational, the most venerable event in the competitive omelette cooking calendar. Who will take home the silver whisk this year? It probably won't be you. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio.
fluid analysis. Last night, I attended a local Amdram production, which I shall now review in the same vein as it was performed. Badly. The chosen place stank. The actors had the emotional range of cucumbers. Oh, and the costumes were a joke. I think that about covers it.
is Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. You're listening to the illuminating Sir Nigel Bickleworth. As you know, I am the former film critic for the Daily Sneer, a national newspaper of some renown. So you can trust my opinion when I say every single film you love is an artless, trashy cash grab you should be ashamed of watching. Stay tuned for more opinions. If you should find yourself dining out at a reputable dining establishment, it behoves you to follow today's guide for good manners. Always order the most expensive items on the menu, particularly if you are ordering for a lady friend. Oh, and dress appropriately. One does not wish to eat while seeing a luridly attired oaf pawing at his cutlery. Patients for DNA lab arriving.
This is Alan Dongle with a tech update. A treatment has been developed for sufferers of reptilian and mechanical metropolism. In urban mythology, patients will be sent through an inner city simulator to vent all of their wildest disease-causing dreams. Cracking.
The world-renowned Cirque du Parfait is no longer under investigation. So come experience the magic, wonder and terror of our glass-boned acrobats ah, ah. and face-eating clowns. <laughs> it's a parfait day at the circus for everyone. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio. Training course completed. that the doctors who work for Jumbo Medical Solutions are the richest in the world. You can keep all your fancy degrees when it comes to inspiring confidence. Money does it every time.
Two Point Radio. If you've been wondering, hey, where did that energetic, happy go lucky Harrison Wolf go? Wonder no more. I'm here, bringing you more hours of joy on Two Point Radio. Lucky you.
swimming? Sure you do. It's a wonderful exercise. But if you're doing it in the local pool, you might like to know they're putting dangerous brain-altering chemicals in the water. They call it chlorine. I call it mind control. Now here's a record that's been making a real splash. If you're about to agree to the terms and conditions of any Jumbo products, you might want to check the small print first. Turns out there's a clause there that says they're allowed to harvest your organs after you die. Hey, I guess it's nice of them to wait until after at least.
Only Jumbo Medical Solutions guarantees that you die anywhere else. <laughs> we take Jumbo Card, Jumbo Mega Card, and Jumbo Plus members are eligible for experimental treatments. No! Jumbo Medical Solutions. Fork it over. Oh. 24 oh. hours a day. This is Two, two Point Radio. and Wolf on Two Point Radio. I've been sitting here wondering how the town of Smogly got its name. I just can't wrap my head around it. Probably because of all the time I've spent there breathing in those industrial fumes.
After trying 67 different hobbies, I'm finally giving up, boys and girls. Guess the only hobby I need is keeping you company and playing some sweet tunes. Just like this one. Training course completed. I shouldn't tell you this, but I'm really a caped crime fighter keeping the streets of Two Point County clean for you all. Being a DJ is just my secret identity. Don't tell anyone.
sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor. If you'd like to see some frogs, there's no better place than Pebbly Frog Sanctuary. A few different types of frog are only a plane or boat journey away. Let's go! So hop on over for a riveting day at Pebbly Frog Sanctuary. Surfing Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio. Training course completed.
there's a pigeon on the windowsill outside the booth. He's staring at me. Did you know you can train pigeons to do almost anything? What's he up to? Who sent him here? Oh, he just flew off. Guess he got everything he needed. Here are some more records. to Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Your patience is finally rewarded, dear listener. That's right, your long wait for Sir Nigel Bickleworth's return is over. This is Two Point Radio, and what a treasure trove of music we have lined up for you.
Once again, one or two scaremongers in the press are criticizing Jumbo Corp for buying up a few small companies, reducing their staff's wages and creating a massive monopoly. When will these people learn that this is what capitalism is all about? If you don't like it, go to one of those communist counties. See what you think of that.
At the urging of a fellow gramophile, I spent some time last night on something called a forum, which one can access via computer, or, so I'm told, via an ambulatory telephone. <laughs> I shall not soon forget the crimes against the English language I witnessed there. I can only conclude that my guide to good grammar is a futile effort. That is all I will say for now. Constructed opulent bay towers in Pelican Wharf. Our exclusive apartments have all the everyday essential conveniences. Mega Mag Cinema, bowling alley, and eight bathrooms, two of which are fitted with golden toilets. Well, I try. And if it's real luxury you're after, come see our penthouses. Pelican Wharf, pricing normal people out of the market. This is Two Point Radio. Nursery 
Most Wanted in Fluid Analysis. in cardiology. I see Jasmine Otter Singers in the news again. We live in an age of vapid celebrities, where real music is pushed aside like a vagabond asking for change. Real music, like the following masterpiece. Psychiatry 
on the way. There are reports of an avalanche affecting a hospital in the Pointy Mountains. I've never seen the point of snow myself, and this does nothing to convince me of its worth.
For this edition of St. Nigel Reviews, I visited the Meridung Market, paying particular attention to its artisanal cheese stall. That is to say, the stall itself was made of cheese. It being a warm, sunny day, you could imagine the aroma, not to mention the mess. Luckily, the stall next to it was made of crackers, so all ended well.
There is hail falling in the mountain regions, so I advise anyone foolish enough to be up there to use one of Jumbo's ultra-resistant gold-plated umbrellas. Let us hope the hospitals in the area are similarly equipped to deal with the problem.
Tickle at the back of my throat this morning. After checking the Two Point Health Service website, it suggests I might be suffering from a bout of bubonic death clog. If you don't hear from me again, you will know why. <coughs> this could very well be my farewell song. Enjoy it.
the new number one album from Jasmine Odyssey, featuring the hit singles Nice Smelling Face. And Fish Whispers. Ooh, fish Whispers. Well, that's all I can hear. Salivation. The new number one album me. from Jasmine Odyssey is out now. Like a fish. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio. Rejoice, my friends, for I am alive and well. I had a cough drop during that song, and the tickle has completely cleared. No bubonic death clog for me. I have selected a very special tune to celebrate the occasion. Woo! <laughs> 
There is hail falling in the mountain regions, so I advise anyone foolish enough to be up there to use one of Jumbo's ultra-resistant gold-plated umbrellas. Let us hope the hospitals in the area are similarly equipped to deal with the problem.
As if we needed any further example of the decline of Western civilization, I leave you with this nugget. I used to live in a mansion. Now I live in a maisonette. This, this is what society has reduced one of its greatest talents to. Truly, these are the end of times. and Wolf on Two Point Radio. Just when you thought it was safe to listen to the radio again, here's Harrison Wolf bringing you all the music and good vibes you can handle.
As many of you know, I have a keen interest in the paranormal. So I'm inviting any listeners who've had any supernatural encounters to write in or give me a call. Let's find out just how spooky Two Point County really is. This advertisement has been removed due to a dispute between Two Point Radio and the producer of Jumbo Nuts. Oh wait, hang on, it shouldn't actually say Jumbo Nuts. Can we do another, can we do another take? Okay, great. This is Two Point Radio.
have recently donated to the Bigfoot Foundation, which really helps those out of the way mountain communities. So it's good to hear Bartholomew F. Yeti is currently visiting one of the area's hospitals. Keep up the good work, Bart. Thank you. 
research. Nobody knows who's to blame for Two Point County's strange weather events. The government? Jumbo Corp? Aliens? What we do know is that a local hospital has just been hit by a severe hailstorm. Hang on tight, guys. Nurse needed in surgery.